Hello friends, welcome to Story Reading. So today I am going to read this interesting book, Hide and Seek. This book was available in a monkey pen. So this is available in a monkey pen website. So go through and explore the books there. So I am going to read this beautiful book, Hide and Seek. A simple game of hide and seek leads the children into the adventure of their lives. An exciting story that will have little readers turning the pages eager to know what comes next. So I'm going to start this story. James, his sister Sally and Mark, their BFF, best friend forever, were bored. They had played all day, but now that it was dark and difficult to see, they had nothing to do. They couldn't play soccer because they could not see the ball. They didn't want to go inside and play a game because it was a beautiful springtime night. And they liked being outside especially after having to play inside all winter long. They just didn't know what to do and it was a little too early for them to go home. I guess I, I will just go home, Mark said in a sad voice. Oh, come on, replied James. We still have time for another game of of something. Then Sally said, I have an idea. Let's play hide and seek. I was just going to say that, James said. Yeah, I will bet, replied his sister. You always say you were thinking of whatever I think of. She snapped. Do not, James said in a loud voice. Do too, ailed Sally. Mark just looked down at the ground and shook his head from side to side. They are at it again, he mumbled to himself. Then he ailed. Okay, let's play hide and seek. I will be seeker. He turned faced a big tree, closed his eyes, and he started counting out loud. Then 100, 99, 98, 97. Sally and Mark stopped arguing, looked at each other and ran off in a different directions to find a hiding place. In the distance, they could still hear Mark counting. Four, three, two, one, ready or not, here I come. Then he turned and began looking for places where they could be hiding. Finding Sally was easy. She always run off and then circled back. So she would be close to base. The safe place to get to before being tagged. Mark looked for the biggest tree and ran towards it. But she was not there. I will bet she is behind that big bush, he said to himself. So he ran to it and was ready to tag her. But she was not there either. As he turned around, he saw James running toward base and darted after him. Just before he touched James' shoulder, James tagged the base and yelled out, safe. Did you get Sally yet? James asked. No, said Mark. I haven't been able to find her and it's getting late and we need to be heading home. So both boys yelled out. Come on, come on out, Sally. It's late. But there was no reply. Not even a little sneaker from 
somewhere in the darkness they yelled again come on out sally it's late still there was no reply from sally they began to worry and started searching for her as they walked around the area they called out sally come on we give up you are safe but no matter where they looked or how much they called out sally did not answer it was as if she disappeared oh sally was wondering what had happened all she could remember was crawling under the big trunk of a fallen tree to hide now as she looked up she saw several stars through a small hole above her head she had fallen into a hole when she crawled under the tree trunk help she yelled and heard her voice echo through out what must have been a cave help 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 did you hear that james mark said excitedly sally just yelled for help keep yelling sally james screamed that way we can find you sally heard her brother and kept screaming after a short while the boys were standing next to the big tree trunk hey are you stuck under this tree asked james kind of sally yelled when i crawled under it to hide i fell into a cave please help me i'm scared it's dark and i can't get out mark said james you stay here with sally and i will go get my dad then he dashed off into the darkness don't be scared james said i am right here with you no you are not sally sobbed you are up there and i am down here as sally turned in the darkness of the cave she bumped into something screamed and began to cry what's wrong james yelled there is something down here with me sally replied in a shaky voice just then mark and his dad came running through the woods mark's father knelt down and asked sally if she was okay he could hear her crying and sobbing sally are you hurt he asked no she said but i am scared and there is something down here with me stand back sally i am lowering a rope and will be down with you in a second mark stat tied the rope to the tree found the hole under the tree trunk wiggled a bit and lowered himself into the cave Sally could see him coming down the rope and stopped crying not only was he there but the cave became brighter from the beam of his flashlight as it danced across the cave's floor and walls as he reached the floor of the cave He shone the light on Sally and gave her a big hug. Don't be frightened, he said. I will have you out of here in a no minute. Then he shone the light around and saw that she had fallen into a small cave and very close to her. In the middle of the cave was something wrapped in layer. of old blanket 
mark james there is something down here i'm going to tie it to the rope and i want you to pull it out okay they replied the boy pulled out the object untied it and let the loose end of the rope fall back into the cave the cave was not deep and mark's dad boosted sally's over his head so she could crawl out he then grabbed the rope and with a little jump was able to grab the opening and pull himself out let's go back to house to my house for a cup of hot tea i will call your parents so they are not worried and we will see what treasure sally found he said when they got to mark's house they sipped their tea and began unwrapping the treasure they carefully peeled off layer of old blankets and cloth to reveal a wooden box they slowly opened it and stared it amazement oh my sally said in disbelief i don't believe what i'm seeing the boys and mark's father just stared inside the box where jewels of every color was you could imagine there were diamonds rubies sapphires and emeralds of all shapes and sizes intermixed they could see several gold coins and strands of pearls we are rich the boy screamed not quite interrupted mark's father someone could have lost this and i don't think you should plan on spending any of it until we find out a little more besides sally's found it i will share it sally said happily that's nice sally replied mark's dad but the right thing to do is contact the authorities the next day the four of them and sally's mother drove to the police station explain what had happened and gave the treasure to the police to hold while they conducted their investigation they left the police station sadly and even the double dipped ice cream cone mark's father bought for them he didn't make them smile they drove back in silence several weeks passed with no word from the police then one evening mark's father called james sally and their parents the police just called and i think you should come over right now he said i'm afraid there is some bad news about the treasure the police are on their way and will explain everything when you get here sally and james did not say much during the ride to mark's house sally thought that since it was bad news the treasure belongs to someone else even though they probably lost it whatever happened to finder keep us he murmured mumbled what did you say sally her mother asked oh nothing sally replied then she let out a long sad sign sign that echoed through the car when they arrived at mark's house the police were there with the treasure box as sally entered the captain introduced himself and said sally this is yours your parents needs need to sign some papers but the box and its contents are yours sally marks and james shrieked shrieked 
strikes with joy and dance around the room then sally said what is the bad news the captain smiled and said the treasure is worth more money than you can imagine and with your new found wealth come comes great responsibilities sally didn't quite understand what the captain was talking about and right now it really didn't matter mark asked are you going to share of course sally said if you and james didn't help me i might still be there several days later sally asked everyone over to her house i have decided what to do with the money from the treasure after it is sold she said i am going to i am giving one six to our mom and dad one six to mark marks mom and dad one six to mark one six to james and one six to me there is an extra one six mark proudly stated he loved math and was right on the top of sally's calculations no there is not sally said is too james said is not sally said in an angered voice just as mark was going to say they are at it again sally said this is why there is not an extra one sixth i am giving it to the local charity so it can be given to those less fortunate and in need her mother and father said it was caring and responsible things to do they were very proud of her and knew that she understood what the captain meant when he had turned the treasure over to her just days before that's the end of the story hope you like this story please like subscribe and share my channel thanks a lot